I left school at 15 and uh, my mother was still a great one to make sure I got out and mixed with folk and she met a friend and they were chatting and, and said, could Norma come to South Moulton Young Farmers Club? Well, my mother said, I don't see why not. So um, I spoke to Amy and um, and Amy as well joined South Moulton Young Farmers with me. And I remember getting very involved. They were a very go ahead club, quite a big club. And um, I was one of the younger members because I'd just left school. But um, we got involved with public speaking and brains trust, which I loved. Um, John Ranger was in our club and John became one of our team members along with Joyce Weber, who became Joyce Jones. But we had some good times as well as that. We had our young farmers dances and I think it was at one of the dances that I probably met Arthur first. And, but we often competed against each other in, in these team competitions. I think he enjoyed it as well as I did. But, but South Moulton, we quite often had the edge on North Moulton, which Arthur belonged to. And really, if we hadn't been there, they would have won a lot of competitions. But we seemed to get in their way, I think. <laughs> so Arthur, what do you remember about meeting Norma? These are the photographs of of some of our club teams, South Moulton Young Farmers Club. Um, we have George Jones, John Milton, Rosemary Milton, myself, who was Norma Govier at the time, and Joyce Weber. That's one of our teams. And we did so well that we had a celebration evening. And we invited our coaches along with us and, and um, we celebrated at the George Hotel. Um, this is Arthur as well. And, and I'm standing here. And here we have all the cups that we'd won that year. That was and South Moulton Young Farmers. And that's probably the first picture of you and Arthur together, that's is it? That's probably the first picture of Arthur and I together, yes, that's right. North Moulton Young Farmers were a very handsome group of fellows. I'd never seen her before, and we, we met through the Young Farmers. And um, we used to do public speaking, as, as they did. And um, we thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, after a while, um, well, we must have got together, I suppose, you know. I, I think the first time I got a dreadful, dreadful cold, I remember. <laughs> and and um, we'd had a brain stress or public speaking. And uh, yeah, I, I remember that was one of the first times when I met Arthur. But they they were they were all boys in or mostly boys in oh, their team. That, oh, that they, yeah, they had one girl, and our club had two girls. So I think we had a slight advantage on our competitions. But they were four very very handsome young men, and and although we're about eighty marks um, in life. We, I think all four of them are very handsome men now, um, and, we're, and we're all still friends. So, you know, I think that has a lot to prove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Did you go to dances or other social events? What kind of things did you get up? Yes, we used to go to dances. Tell um, me about them, Arthur. And um, each club would invite so many members, so many local or fresh clubs around, and they would come and have a quiz. First, and we, we'd have this quiz, and um, we end of the night. I mean, um, there was always a, an orange squash and a, something just a nibble, and uh, then we all had a dance afterward. And um, we did, met a lot of people of different clubs, in which um, I, I've known and I still know uh, several of them now. So did you dance to records or to bands or bands? bands. It was always a band. Um, they organised it. And they they got a, a dance band, and they all danced together. And uh, not that my dancing was very good, but uh, at least I went to or tried to go to classes to Philly. Um, 
there was too many at Philly to, for a, for an amateur to um, get very far. So they used to have dance lessons time. in Philly. Yes, yes. So what kind of dance? It was ballroom dancing, wasn't it? Ballroom dancing, yes, yeah. So when you had the bands, it was ballroom dancing, or yes, yes. 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 And well, I remember um, local bands. I mean, it was it was local bands. Um, I remember Alan Bowen and company, oh, which yes. used to run the Star um, Engineering Company. He he um, organised the band and yeah. they played um, a lot. And um, I forget the other Roy one. Roy and his Blue Stars. At Roy and West Blue Buckland, Stars from West Buckland it? was a Carpenters, and um, they were very very good. Um, and and uh, Bill Hammett, and um, he was a bit later, wasn't he? He was a bit later. He was uh, as we were getting, as leaving the, the clubs more or less. But um, well, do you know what I remember? Bill Hammett. Yes, that's he, right. Yes. Trio, he used to play. Yes, that's right. Trio. That's he right. Did. Well, he yes, used to he play. Did. After Alan, well, after we left the Young Farmers, almost, and. Um, Oh, we started to enjoy things. Um, Norma went on a trip to um, Denmark yeah. through the Young Farmers and um, sponsored by North Devon Farmers. And the following year, that I was lucky enough to uh, go as well. And um, we, we, um, about three from our club went. Um, we had to go to a college. We had to go to a college, but we had to stay in... Um, Youth hostels, but uh, that was quite an enjoyable uh, experience. Well, quite an eye opener because not many kids from travelled then. Yeah. No, no we were I'm very, not. very lucky. We were very, very lucky. But we yes. had worked hard for our clubs. Yes, and, and um, well, I did several county competitions, stock judging, and different things. Um, Bell loading and that in the Devon County Show, and um, I also went to Smithfield and. Stock a couple judging. of times representing the county, okay. so as what stock um, judging? Stock, stock judging. Um, I was usually a beef stock judging at national. And the bale uh, competitions. That was the pitchfork and up on the top of the. That was at yes, the county right, shows yes, yes. and the bath and so show. Me, did you show me what the action was to get the bale up the top? Well, I didn't have to do it actually. I, I, you drove I, a tractor, didn't I, you? I, they said. Um, I get off the start hand in about um, you, you stick a bale in and lift it up and put it on the trailer. You make it sound uh, easy, but there's quite a technique. Oh, it is. Yes, there is. Yes. And to do it fast. And, and a friend of mine, Dennis Rottenberry, said, uh, stay in the tractor and keep moving. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't said, think you were any good at chucking the bale but up? No, no. It was gaining ground. Yeah, he kept it's moving it's the tractor, you see, um, rather than getting rather, off. Rather than getting off. It was better to dev it for Dennis to keep throwing them up and me to keep moving them at a reasonable speed that they could uh, manage, you know. Yeah. And um, that was fun. We won that a couple of two or three times in in the Bath in the Devon County, and uh, it was a bit of fun. Yeah. And, and, and I was used to driving the, um, the international tractor, which the others weren't, and so it, it was an advantage. So we thoroughly enjoyed that.